Let's chat about this masterpiece. This book is so damn good. I'm just, I'm floored. I've read it multiple times already. And if you haven't read it, Comic Fam, no worries. We're going to go over a little bit about this book, but we're not going to do any spoilers because we encourage you to go to your LCS and get it. Or hit the link in the description and join the mystery mail call because your boy got a Comic Tom exclusive. It's an Inkyuk Lee variant going out to every member of our comic book subscription service, the mystery mail call. So if you like Thor one, you're going to definitely like the in Lee variant, but let's talk about like the five reasons why this book that we both read is so dope. Because as soon as you hit me up about this book, I knew that you would be good on the mic to talk about it. Cause you also fell in love with this comic. I only read this book because it was part of a mystery mail call. And we kind of have an emotional attachment to our, our cool exclusive. But that's not why I love this book, all right? And I had to call you. I was like, dude, this thing is dope. There are five good reasons why you should get into this book, and one of them is that it's a fresh start here. I mean, this is the first issue. You can jump right in. It tells uh, this tale where you you're, you're easily can transition into this book and this title and really enjoy it. Yeah, sometimes I feel like when I get introduced to a new title, and this happened when I started reading Jason Aaron's run, way back when I started reading the first few issues and I'm like, I have no idea what's going on. There's just way too much, way too many names I can't pronounce. Like, I mean, this is a long time ago. I've, I've read the run since then, but this book first issue, first freaking four pages. I'm just floored. I'm sucked in. And Thor isn't even like my favorite Marvel character. And I'm just all about the transition from War of the Realms to what we're reading right now. Thor is freaking on people's minds for good reason, and that's because this book is freaking awesome. The reason I find this book to be as fantastic as it is is reason number two for me, which is the artwork. It coincides so well with the way it's written and how it's told, the dynamic uh, page structures and just the... The choice of what they're portraying on the on the pages and the panels, it's it's pretty amazing. And it really sells you of where you are, what you're reading, and telling the tale. The color work's fantastic. Nick Klein, his line work is so good. I'm paying attention to characters that are further away in the scene versus when they're closer up because the detail he chooses to do is different. It's so intriguing. And Nick Klein, I was looking up other stuff that he's done in the past. He has done a bunch of Marvel work, but not nearly as much as some other members of the community Donny Cates has worked with in the past. But I was surprised to see that we've actually talked about a number of covers that he's done over this last year. I want to remind everybody about the Ziggy Pig Silly Seal comic book. Remember that issue that came out? It wasn't because of cover A that people got excited. It was about the hidden variant that came out, surprising everybody, the poop variant. That was done by Nick Klein. And that wasn't the only one. We also have that Deadpool issue number five, that Garbage Pale Kids variant comic that came out, also done by Nick Klein. You remember that one? Yeah, you were actually, we were at a convention. Oh, that's right. Dude. And we <laughs> saw this cover and we instantly thought like, wow, if there's going to be any cover at this table that's going to hit, it's got to be this one. I was so pissed, dude. We tried to buy it. He had 30 books on there. Maybe more. Yeah, and we tried to buy a, a couple copies, and this was before the con opened, and I swear that like set off a red flag because he's instantly on his phone, and he's like, oh, uh, all these pre-sold already, and took all 30 copies, wouldn't even sell us one. I'm like, dude, can I just get <sighs> like three of them, and Jeff, you're like, yeah, I'll take three as well, and he's like, oh yeah, hold on one second. Oh, actually, they're all sold. Whoopsies. Yeah, my bad. I probably should have Googled eBay sooner. Ah, oh, it was ridiculous. But that book spiked pretty hard, and it was all done by Nick Klein, so I'm surprised to hear that. But that's not all. I kept looking, and I found another connection that Nick Klein has to Thor that is directly related. We have Thor God of Thunder, the Jason Aaron run, issue number 12. Nick Klein actually did the interior pencils for this book. Freaking random. Like that he's now doing a Thor comic that has pulled parts of the mythos from Jason Aaron's run. And he did one of those comics himself back in 2013. I like it. Now I'm going to tell you number three. Reason, Reason three. three. Okay. Why you should be reading this issue. It's because of the writing. And like I said, Donnie Cates, man, 
he did it here. He I feel like it. I'm reading Thanos wins again. Like like the first issue when I read Thanos wins, I'm like, oh my gosh, there's something special about this writing. It's so good. It flows so well. I feel like that again with this issue. And like, how would you describe how Thor is being written? Because the artwork's great. The design, the character design is awesome. But Thor in this run, doesn't he feel like powerful through the writing? Like he accomplishes that. So we are put through a journey in this one issue alone. And it's, you actually see Thor change almost in a few ways through this, this book. And the pacing is fantastic. And like you said, you feel the might of Thor just through the artwork and the writing. And I don't, like, we're trying not to spoil anything. So it's going to be hard. But I think we can do it. But I'm just telling you, what he does here is pretty magnificent because it sucks you in so quick and on multiple levels. I feel like it's easy to give a character that almighty feeling when you give him a weapon like Mjolnir or if you make him really grandiose through the artwork. But if you can do it through the writing, through what he says, and you make him feel godlike through the text, that is something special. That's accomplishing something, and Sir Cates did it. And I like how you mentioned character because reason number four here right. are the characters you get to take this journey with. And... Again, it's tough to not spoil it, but I'm telling you, when you open up these pages, you're going to love who you see in there and how they're involved in this tale. That's right. Every character that gets introduced, I am really hoping makes an appearance in this run again. And really, I've seen a lot of people write about what they hope to see in this Thor run. We had a bunch of blog contributors write on the Comic Tom 101 blog about this very subject, what they're excited to see, what they hope to see, what we may see, and what's now being validated. Every character in this run is done so well. It's so funny at times. It is badass at times. It is like epic at times. You're going to just be so sucked in. And last but not least, reason number five, the last page. Last page, man. And we're not even going to say it. Nope. 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 That's it. Mm -mm. That's it. We're not saying anything. The last page of this book is going to make you go, oh, snap. And not like Thanos snap. You're going to go like, oh, shoot. I got to go and get this on my pull list. If you didn't already, because you weren't sure about Thor, you weren't sure about Donny Cates, but now you are.